Hello and welcome to the Pastor's Corner. In my devotionals recently, we have been looking at how we as followers of Christ are to live as a body of believers. We are not to live as the unbelievers live. Instead, we are to put off our old former way of life and put on our new inner self, as, which is being created according to Christ's likeness in righteousness and purity of the truth. This requires renewal of our way of thinking. In my last devotional on chapter 4, 25 through 27, we looked at putting off falsehood and anger. Today, we will look at stealing and filthy speech from verses 28 to 29 in the English Standard Version. Let the thief no longer steal, but rather let him labor, doing honest work with his own hands so that he may have something to share with anyone in need. Let no corrupting talk come out of your mouths, but only such as is good for building up as fits the occasion, that it may give grace to those who hear. In addition to falsehood and anger, another area of our former lives that we must put aside is stealing. Instead of stealing, we are to perform honest work with our hands so that we can share with those in need. I don't know if any of you are thieves, probably not. So how are we to understand this verse? In Leviticus 19.11, stealing is listed next to deceit, falsehood, and lying to others. Therefore, there is a relationship between falsehood mentioned in verse 25 and stealing in verse 28. There are ways that we can steal by cheating others out of money. Cheating is a type of falsehood. Therefore, if you are a business person and you take money from someone that doesn't belong to you, that's stealing. If you are a student and you don't do your own work on a test or assignment, that's stealing. If you try to pay less taxes than what you owe, that's stealing. But in this verse, Paul is also stating something about a good work ethic. All of us are to work hard and provide for ourselves and others. This is a task that God originally gave to Adam in the garden, and it's a task that we are to do joyfully. When we work, we provide for ourselves and our families. In addition, when we work, God blesses our work so that we can bless others with our service to them. We can also give to others in need some of what we have earned. Working hard is the opposite of stealing. When we work as unto the Lord, we are becoming more like Christ. The next area of our former way of life to put aside is filthy or corrupt speech. Speech is one of the biggest areas that causes problems between believers in the church. It's so easy to say an offhand comment to someone that is hurtful rather than helpful. James states in chapter 3, verses 8 through 11, that the tongue is a restless evil, full of deadly poison. With it, we bless our Lord and Father, and with it, we curse people who are made in the likeness of God. From the same mouth come blessing and cursing. My brothers, these things ought not to be so. Paul states that we should only say those things that build others up and encourage others so that it will give grace to those who hear. Another way that we can tear others down instead of building others up is through gossip. Gossip is when someone talks about another person without that person's knowledge and approval. Sometimes this gossip is cloaked in prayer. Do you ever pray for someone in a group that reveals information about them which you did not have permission to share? For example, a person might say in a prayer meeting, Lord God, I want to pray for Jane Smith because she and her husband are fighting and he even hit her one time. All of that may be true, but if you don't have permission from Jane Smith to share, you shouldn't share it in prayer. I think that when we have good relationships with others, especially in the church, then we will be more likely to speak encouraging words to them. But if we have a bad relationship with someone, or if we are envious of someone, then we are more likely to speak hurtful words to them, directly or worse, indirectly through gossip. Let us be followers of Christ who speak words that edify others in our church. Let us encourage each other to love and good works and implore others to steer away from sin that so easily entangles us and others. Let us pray. Lord God, I pray, Lord, that we might be people who do not cheat and do not lie, that we don't steal in whatever form that might take. And I pray, Lord God, that you might just guard our mouth, Lord God. Guard our mouth from gossip, 
got our mouth, guard our mouth from saying hurtful words to people that when we often, often aren't even thinking about what we're saying. Guard our mouths, Lord God, and I pray, Lord God, that we might be slow to speak, quick to hear, slow to anger. Lord God, I pray, Lord God, that we might be very slow to speak and we might say that only those things that are encouraging to other people, Lord God, that build up the body of Christ. Lord, let us be people who are trying to encourage each other and to steer people away from sin and steer people into a stronger relationship with Jesus Christ. Help us in that task, Lord God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.